I apologize for the length of this video. Um, I know it's going to be a little bit longer. I try not to get up to seven and eight minutes. I have a sneaky suspicion it will. When um, we talk about light and um, sound waves, <clears throat> the three terms that we should know as far as how they behave are reflection, refraction, and diffraction. And uh, the first one we'll talk about is reflection. So we'll cross these out. Uh, reflection is the easy one that I'm sure you'll recognize where you look in a mirror and you see yourself. All right? That's because light reflects. It bounces off objects. Um, another example, let's say we have <clears throat> the glass on the, on the floor and we shine a light on it. It's going to reflect at the same angle. Okay, so the angle here and an angle here. So if you're looking at a mirror and you're standing here, you can see somebody over here, okay? And they can see you because of that bouncing reflection. All right, so reflection. Um, also, let me use a different color. <clears throat> For sound waves, what we have here is, let's say we have a wall and the sound waves are coming this way. And when it hits the wall, then it will bounce back and it's going to come back and the name for that uh, we call that an echo when that sound bounces back to us all right so simple enough uh, reflection all right next we will talk about refraction and we'll cross these out all right so now we have refraction refraction is something else that you've you've seen uh, let's say we have a glass of water Here's the water, uh, water line, and then we have a pencil coming through here, all right, and it hits the surface of the water, and then we see it from the side at a different place, all right. That's because the light refracted, it bent. It's when light bends, okay, when light, when light bends, okay. <clears throat> so the bending of the light causes us to see the um the the object in a different place uh, same thing with if you go to a, a swimming pool and you look at your friend down in the swimming pool you can see that your friend's upper body is separated from his lower body all right and you know that's not true um, another example is a prism and i'm thinking okay let's shine the light like this maybe the white light goes in here it goes like that and then let's try I'll come out here, red, and then a key orange. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, yellow, and then we'll go green, and then blue. All right, uh, it's close to Roy G. Biv. All right, so it goes through a prison, and it breaks up the light. It bends the light, but it also breaks it up, and you get the colors of the rainbow. So that's also um, refraction. And then another important one is if you wear uh, glasses. Um, let's say let's say this is the shape of your lenses, okay? And then here's your eye. Here's your eye. <clears throat> and so the let's try a different color. So when the light comes, and I'm not quite sure how this is going to bend exactly. I think it comes like this. And maybe like th like this maybe I don't know I'm guessing I'm not sure exactly how the light's supposed to bend here all right but the idea is is that the light comes to the lens and then the lens makes the light bend and strikes your eye in such a way that you can see it more clearly so it adjusts how the light is striking your eye and then it goes to the back of your eye and then you're able to see Okay, so that's refraction. Okay, glass of water, prism, and eyeglass lenses. All right, and the last one, <clears throat> diffraction. This one's a little trickier, <clears throat> and a good way to explain it is, let's say you're around the corner, you're here, and then, you know, here's a street, and here's another street, and your friend's over here, okay? And so... 
you're looking, but you can't see your friend because you can't, you know, you can't see around the corner. But if your friend yells at you, you can still hear him, right? I mean, you can't see around the corner, but you can hear around the corner. That's because sound waves will diffract, will diffract better than light waves. So when he yells out at you, and again, it's going both ways, he yells out at you, it's going to go around the corner, okay? And think of it like this. Um, sound waves will travel out kind of like, you know, dropping a pebble in the water, and it'll all go out like this. And since it's a circle, it's going to have different areas of direction, okay? And so when it goes by a corner, that direction can just change. Uh, get, let me give you an, another example. Let's say um, there's a signal coming um, from, I don't know, a satellite or something. Signal. And it's, the waves are coming. And again, this is part of a circle. And then here there's like a mountain in the way. All right, well, it's going to come here. It's going to come here. All right, now again, it's a circle. It has different directions of of where it's going all right and so when it hits the corner then what you can get oftentimes or what you will get is um, a new direction of the signal because it's a circle right there's all kinds of directions it can go so when it hits the edge it'll adjust and it diffracts and it goes in a new direction Okay, and another example of that is if you get a wave, a wave, a wave, a wave coming, and it hits like a, a little opening, and so now here is a new um, source of, of the wave, and so the wave will start again, and it'll go and restart itself. Okay, so that's diffraction. I know this one might be a little bit harder to understand. We're going on seven minutes now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find uh, another couple videos to help you, especially with this one. Um, and I'll put it in the information box. Um, and, you know, maybe they can elaborate and explain it better than I can. So we have uh, reflection, refraction, and diffraction. Uh, thanks for watching. Look, look for those extra links in the uh, description box.